everyone, Jessica Peterson with the Luxury Team brokered by EXP Realty. As I always say, discover pleasure, comfort, and joy in around your home. So today I have the amazing Nick O'Donnell here because I happen to be, um, some of you have seen Gretchen with Swanky, her amazing office, and I saw that she had this really cool chair, which you could go ahead and check out in Luxury Lifestyle. We're going to have lots of images of very modern, would you say modern, retro? Yeah, type. very much modern, very geometric, very yes. uh, very organic looking design. Yeah, beautiful pieces. So here I'm going to have a conversation with you. I'm in here, we can go ahead and do like a quick view here of um, where you, you work every day, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. And this is one of your pieces. Tell us about one of your pieces. Yeah, so a lot of my designs uh, start off based off of uh, just shapes and forms that you could find in nature. So, okay. so a lot of times, um, a lot of my bigger benches, uh, people will say look like different marine animals or, or different uh, just flowing shapes or even like smoke or vapor. Uh, for this specific lamp that I designed a while back, um, I really was looking for um, for a design that you would find just a lot of times just in, in just plant life. So you can see um, that this this was designed a lot uh, a lot like a, um, a the way a pine cone grows, or like a, like an app, like a like an artichoke, or, or like a pineapple, even like that kind of shape. So so I just uh, I created a code actually like an algorithm that, that took uh, a number of leaves and basically arrange them onto a surface the way that I told it to. And this is um, how this shape came to be. And then from there, I, uh, I used laser cutting to have each and every little piece and lock it into place. And so it's actually just um, a pendant lamp that's entirely made of wood. So you're inspired by nature, because my magazine I just had was all about nature. And one woman wrote about epigenetics and bringing mm -hmm. nature into our DNA and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. She'd be really good for you to know Leanne. Mm -hmm. So this was modeled after, would you say, a pine cone, right? Yeah, yeah, very similar to the way a pine cone works. And so just, you know, um, very similar to the way DNA works because DNA basically is a code that, that, that gives instructions on how to build things. Yeah. And so very similar to that, I wrote an algorithm in, in one of the, the 3D CAD softwares that I used that told the, uh, the computer how to take just one simple shape and build it the same way. So it's, it's almost like, like a... Like a, like a designer's version of, of just working with um, a DNA of a piece of furniture. That is so cool. And you also said smoke smoky pieces or even marine life pieces, is yeah. that right? Yeah, okay. I've done a lot of pieces. There's a piece uh, locally in Sarasota that was just based off of the, just the shape of like a, like, a, like a flowing, I don't know, any kind of, um, you know, marine life, like a, like, a, like a whale shape or like a, like a dolphin, something that's just very flowing, um, almost mixed with, um, and just a theme of just marine life in general, actually. So, awesome. so yeah, so a lot of my pieces tend to have that. So here we're going to go ahead and, and feature. This is where your amazing work happens. Is that yes. right? So you mm -hmm. cut out the pieces for your chairs and everything. And so I do. So whenever I'm not uh, laser cutting, um, uh, a lot of my my bench pieces have to be cut on a CNC router. So this is just a CNC router where you lay each individual uh, piece of wood and then cut out the sections. And then after you've cut out however many it takes, which can sometimes be as many as two or three hundred, um, I then assemble them. And so this is where it all starts, just with uh, with the compute with the, the CNC router, cutting out the shapes that I feed into it. So what inspired you to get in this industry? You know, uh, when I was in college, I was actually really into um, into three D printing and just different three D design. And so I went to a symposium one day where I listened to a speaker uh, talk about this new type of um, design, which really has become known as parametric design. And so in parametric design, you're basically uh, creating um, a, instead of instead of just one design, you're creating um, a code or a blueprint that creates any number of designs based off of different um, different parameters and different customized functions that you can put into it. So it's almost like instead of creating a design, you're creating a code that creates many different designs. So so I started learning about how this can be done, and so uh, so I thought it was just the coolest thing I'd ever seen, and I decided that I myself would love to have all this stuff. So really, I was my own first customer because I got into it thinking it would be cool to make it for myself. And then upon getting into it and showing people and, and having it featured in USA Today, I realized that there might actually be a market for this and I decided wow. to uh, pursue it. Well, there definitely is a market. You're here in mm -hmm. Sarasota, Florida, and a lot of your clients are in New York and California right now. So obviously anyone in Sarasota, I'm all about supporting local mm -hmm. businesses. So how can someone go ahead and, and find you? So the main way people find me is through my website. So it's terraformdesign.com, terraform-design. 
Um, and then I also have a presence on Etsy and uh, House and a couple different like uh, online furniture marketplaces. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for going ahead and checking this out. I love these pieces. And you can go ahead and check out more pieces in LuxureLifestyle.com. As always, discover pleasure, comfort, and joy in and around your home. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.